In this video, I'm showing you how to give yourself admin in your own Roblox game. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and consider subscribing. And once you've done that, please go down below and consider leaving a like. And let's jump straight into this guide. The first thing you need to do is go and open up Roblox Studio. And the next thing you need to do is either go and create a new game or go and open up an existing game of which you want to go and add yourself as an admin to. So in this case, I'm just going to go and create a new one. So I'll tap on you and just go and create a new concert game just like so. So I'll tap here and the place is now going to be created. Um, as I said before, you can do this in an existing game as well. Then once Roblox Studio is loaded, then what you need to do is come to this top left sort of bar up here. And what you want to do is go and tap on view and make sure you've got the toolbox selected, which is just up here in the top left. It may be slightly different for you. Just make sure it's selected just like so. And then go back to the home just by clicking here and then make sure toolbox is selected just like that and as you can see it's appearing for me on the left hand side now sometimes they go and merge the toolbox and train editor if that's the case there'll be sort of like a selection option for toolbox and train editor so click there if you can't go and see it at the bottom either here or here now once you go and see the toolbox you want to go into it um, and you want to make sure models is selected and then you want to go and type in calls admin so go and type it in just like so and there we are there it is i'm going to go and tap on it just here now, as you can see, two of these look the same. To go and identify which is the right one, just hover your mouse over it. And as you can see, it's got 92% and it's got 70K, uh, I think, reviews that is. If I hover on this one, it's only got 50 and it's 18% um, positive, which is pretty bad compared to 92%. So this is the official one. So then what you want to do is go and drag this in just like so. To go and drag it in, um, there it is. So as you can see here, it says you need to go and review the scripts. Um, so I'll just press OK. Now, as you can see, this is where I went and put it. If I go and sort of drag around, you can see on, on the other side, it's invisible. But on this side, it is visible. So you may want to go and move it somewhere up high uh, just to keep it out of the way so other people or you know users don't end up having to go and use it. But once you've gone and dragged it in, then what you need to do is go over to the right-hand side to the Explorer and you want to go and open up Workspace. And then you're going to go and see the Calls Admin Infinite. Then you want to go and press on the downwards arrow to go and open it up just like so. And we've got um, two options, thumbnail camera and credit. You want to go and open up credit just like so. And then we've got these two options here. What we need to do is go and open up settings. So I'll tap on settings just like so. Um, and you may need to double tap on it. And then it's going to go and open up this page here. Now, there's a lot of information here. Don't worry. It's quite a lot simpler than it probably looks. What we want to do is go and add yourself to the owners as you can see because you're the owner of course you can go and add maybe your friends and things to admins if you trust them so all you want to do is under local owners is go into these brackets and put your cursor i'm going to zoom in on this for you guys then what you need to do is go and put an apostrophe just like so and then it's going to go and create two that's really important but it's going to automatically create two when you press your apostrophe button then you need to go and type in your roblox username here so in this case mine is tuck tutorial so i'll type mine in now just like so. And what's really important is that your name appears in the apostrophes just like that on the settings in the tab section here. And there we go. Then I'm going to show you how it works. I'm going to go and tap on play just like so. And then it'll take a moment to load. I'll just turn my volume down a bit. Um, and yeah, Roblox is going to go and load as you can see. And then it should go and say you are the owner of this game or something when it goes and loads. As you can see, it says your owner chat CMDS for all of the commands um, and you can use the help as well. And just to add this clip to the video, to go and view the commands, all you need to do is, is first press colon on your keyboard and then you can type in CMDS, just like so, hit enter, and then it's gonna go and list all of the commands. If you guys found this guide useful, please go down below and consider leaving a like. Peace.